Okay. Welcome back to Love Island The Game Season 2. We're on day 7. Called Don't Fudge It Up. Snakes in the Villa. Rocco's been caught out being snaky. What should the others do about it? Before we start though, um, I want to say happy belated birthday to Song because when I streamed last time, it was it was Song's birthday and I completely forgot to say happy birthday. So everybody, I want you to say happy birthday to Song right now. I would sing to you, but I don't think you want to hear that right now. <laughs> I don't think you want to hear them pipes right now. If I don't see you happy birthday in the chat, everyone's dying. <laughs> I was joking, but also, thank you for that. Thank you for that, Ack. Gil, if you're here in the chat still, where is where's Song's happy birthday? Don't be a poo head. Say it. Previously on Love Island, you want me to sing? You want me to sing? No. Maybe later. Maybe when I do my Christmas in July stream. Just for Ack. Good. I'm glad there's happy birthdays in the chat. Thank you, Ack. Thank you, Gil. Song deserves all the love. Rocco found himself on thin ice. Babe, he was caught. He was caught. Babe, he was chatting up all the girls. Lottie started to give Rocco the cold shoulder. But it turned out Marisol has actual feelings for him. I don't give a fuck what Marisol feels. Sorry if that's a problem for you. It is a problem for me, Marisol. It is a big problem for me. Because Rococo is my man. A spark is a spark, after all. I'm sure that won't be a problem, Marisol. Who are we kidding? This is the seventh day of Love Island. And if we've learned anything this week, it's that nothing gets past our girl code enforcer, Lottie. Coming up. Rocky sees ahead for all our boys. We're in the deep end now, Lucas. And Lottie thinks we're on a nature documentary. That sound is the lesser spotted male snake. Look at you, Song. Being on theme with the episode. You look over to the other side of your bed. Your bed is empty. Rocco must have got up earlier. He's probably showering off his sins. Let the water rinse off his dirty grafting. I hope the shower's cold enough for him. At least I've got the bed to myself this morning. Marisol paces around the bedroom, running her fingers through her hair, frowning. She catches your eye and quickly looks away. Yeah, look away. I guess she's off with I guess she's off with me after what I said. The truth? Has anyone seen Rocco? Lottie sits bolt upright. Bobby stirs in the bed. Grim! You're raiding with a party of one? Thank you for raiding. I've never been raided before. I don't know what to say. Usually people say like a welcome message and like who they are, so let me let me attempt. Um Hi! <laughs> I'm Princess Blue. I'm obviously a princess. I play pretty chill games like Pokemon and I like dating sims and stuff like that. And hopefully one day I'll get better at doing a welcome message. Welcome in! Grim, I saw you were playing, um, what was it? Tina Turner Saves the Day? What were you playing? It was like Tiny Tina or something like that. Also, rest in peace, Tina Turner. Tell me, tell me about your game. Tell me about your game. Tiny Tatina Wonderland. Oh, she's Tatina? She's Tatina? What's that game about? Never heard of it. Tell me about it. He's probably shedding his skin. I'm just, I'm just messing with you, Griff. <laughs> I know it's Tina. <laughs> I'm just being a hater like always. I don't know what you're getting so worked up about. Marisol perches on the edge of her bed, stretching her toned arms as she yawns. 
He's not even your man. Okay, but he's my man and Lottie's my girl. So shut up, Marisol. He's not yours either in case you've forgotten. Enjoy my game? I will enjoy my game. I will enjoy my game. I hope you enjoy your day, Grim. You can stay or not stay. I'm okay. I would love it if you stayed, though. Gary rolls onto his side, pulling the duvet over his head. Princess is my girl, hon. Tell her, Lottie. Tell her. I look out for my girls when there are snakes in the grass. Marisol storms out of the bedroom. Is she gone? Coast is clear. Well, that was pretty intense. Think I need a cuppa. Oh, Gary, you wouldn't make us a cup of tea, would you? I need to read my leaves to see what my lovesick future holds. All right, your highness. Hey, that's my title. That's my title, Gary. Don't be giving that away to her. Princess, you want anything? Um, I need a drink. Give me a drink, please. I, honestly, I really do want a drink, but I can't drink on this medicine. No, it's the morning, princess. It's six o'clock somewhere, Lottie. I feel that. People drink in the morning anyway. There's mimosas. I'm going to get you some of Rocco's wheatgrass smoothie. That'll pick your spirits up. Now, why the fuck would that pick my spirits up, Gary? But why the fuck would you think that would pick my spirits up? Ugh, great. Guys! Priya comes running in. Where was she before? What the? Noah and Hope suddenly sit up in bed. Yeah, there are several drinks for <laughs> drinks made for the AM. Yeah, and there's like drinks that you can drink when you're um sick, like hot toddies, I think. The other islanders run into the bedroom. Priya, babe, are you all right? I got a text. Everyone stares at her expectantly. What's it say? Well, that's a relief. I heard you yell and thought something awful was happening. I'm glad no one's hurt. Just my ears. No, I, shut up. You'll see why I scream when you hear what it says. Girls, later today you will decide which boy is the most dateable. Guys, smooth out those manners and straighten out those lines. It's date or break time. Yeah, mimosas, champagne. I don't really like champagne though. Champagne's not my thing. I'm a margarita kind of girl. That is savage bottle of vodka straight exactly who doesn't love vodka straight no chaser i'm so going to screw this up you are ibrahim i can tell you right now you're not winning looks like the power is in our hands today girls the boys groan everyone looks at rocco mm. he opens his mouth like he's about to speak but no sound comes out what are you guys waiting for go get ready the boys rush off to go to the changing room. I better start getting ready. I don't want the guys to upstage me. Now how would they upstage moi? How would they upstage me? I'm the hottest bitch here. This is a new swimsuit. I do not remember them ever having this swimsuit and you bet your ass I'm buying this shit. Perfect. Time to go see the boys. Over on the lawn, Lucas and Henrik are comparing their dating rules. Lottie, as usual, is giving our two new boys her unfiltered opinion. You settle down on the lounger and stretch out your legs. I think first dates are super important. If you don't impress me in the first 3.9 seconds of the date, I'm out. Tell them, babes. Tell them. Sure, it's all about the first impression. I always make sure dates aren't too expensive. I don't like to make anyone feel like they have to spend money on me. We don't need to pay for a good conversation. I mean, true. I mean, if I was gonna pick like a date, I wouldn't want it to be too expensive, but like something chill. I'm a pretty chill person. And you can't beat a hike up a mountain. Now, I'm not that chill. I'm not hiking up a mountain. We're not doing anything too physical because I'm, <laughs> I'm lazy. Henrik would hike up a mountain on the first date. I let you climb into my bed any day, Henrik. Ha! Nicely put. 
Look at me. I'm a flirting machine. Oh, uh, whoa. Henrik smiles, a blushing red spreading across his cheeks. I'm flattered, princess. You'd make any you'd make any of you a better one, princess. You blush at Henrik. Um <laughs> yeah. Sure she would. I love a bit of an adventure. My kind of venture is trooping around the city looking for an exclusive pop-up restaurant. That sounds like too much work. I need to know the menu beforehand. I can't just be going places and not know the menu because what if there's something that I don't want to eat? You know, I'm a very picky eater. I like a Henrik blush. You love Henrik and I love that for you. I love that for you, that you love Henrik. And like, I'm not being funny, but imagine sitting across the table from Princess. <laughs> What could be better? I'm sorry, he was he was just giving me fuckboy there. I couldn't help it. Well, you know, there are a lot of people in the villa. Good wine, good conversation, good food. And you're all good. Do I like the idea of Lucas's wine and dine date? I would love to eat out with Lucas. Wait, who gave me negative <laughs> who gave me negative emotion for that? Was it Henrik or was it Lottie? Lottie, are you being a hater because no one's giving you attention? <laughs> Lucas lip bite? Exactly. Lucas is a fuckboy. But he's he's a hot fuckboy, so he kinda passes. The honor would be all mine. Bet you only sprinkle a few diamonds at her on the first date, don't you, Lucas? It's all about Moisenite stone these days, Henrik. I think that's how you say that. Moisenite? That's how I'm saying it. It has a higher brilliance than a diamond. Henrik looks at him, amused. You know what? I feel like Henrik and Lucas should date. I think they would be a very cute couple. It sparks. It sparkles more than... I mean, no. I don't... I don't buy... I'm teasing, me. Money doesn't buy happiness. That's a lie. Money does buy happiness. Do not let... Do not let rich people try to tell you differently hi davis i was wondering when you were coming in because i saw your chat earlier at like 1 <laughs> welcome into the stream and it certainly doesn't buy love now does money buy love it could will it buy my love it may i'm just saying Depending on what kind of love you want, I can be bought. I've been thinking the same thing. Lucas, Henrik, and I, OT3. I love that for you. Getting that thruple. Getting that thruple song. Right, princess? Lucas wants to know if I think money buys love. <laughs> I'm gonna say the middle option. Oh, have you got money? Because that's gonna that's gonna piss him off a little bit. But I just, I love that option. It's just so funny. Oh, you've got money. <laughs> um, how am I? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm a little nervous because, you know, I'm not in my usual streaming place. But besides that, I'm good. We had a little hiccup earlier when my stream just, like, decided to end itself. Look, look, I have morals, but $20 can buy a lot of chicken nuggets. I mean, $20 at McDonald's? I think you can buy, like, a 20-piece chicken nugget with that. Or at least 40. At the most, 40, I think. If you're just getting the chicken nuggets and nothing else. Um, that's a bit personal. I like to know what kind of guy I'm talking to. Broke boys don't deserve no pussy. Cardi said it. It's facts. Am I joking? 5% of me is joking. You say love can be bought, LMIO. Love can be bought. For the right price. You know, Stockholm Syndrome? That's real. I don't really like to talk about my money. Um, let's change the subject. Good plan. Gary walks up and slumps down on the lounger besides Lottie. Why are you sitting beside Lottie and not me? Morning all. That look is so hot I should put a hazard sign up for the other's safety. 
Thank you, Gary. I'm going to ignore you because you're sitting next to Lottie and not me. Gary, stop that. We're having an important discussion about date rules. Oh, yeah? Yeah, in preparation for when we have to judge you guys later. So, kissing and doing the dirty. What's your rules? Oh, no. I do my own laundry, thanks. Lottie looks at him, the corners of her mouth betraying a nearly concealed smile. He used to back up off your woman about to fight Gary. You know what? I'm gonna take Gary away so you don't have to fight him. And I'll leave you with Lottie, okay, Ak? You guys can get to know each other better. Alright, one of my rules? Don't bring a girl back to your place if you can't make her a decent breakfast. That's a good one. Henrik always makes girls breakfast. That's super sweet. I don't like breakfast. I'd eat breakfast off Henrik's body. I definitely got, I'm gonna put I'm gonna pick that one. Everyone looks at you wide-eyed. That's not an offer I turned down. Look at him. Look at him. Wild. Did I say that out loud? I mean definitely. I definitely said that out loud on purpose. You flush red from embarrassment. Ha! <laughs> I think Princess face says it all. You're just here to spectate? That's okay. There will be no fighting on Love Island, unless you want to get kicked off. For me, it's all about setting the bar with the first kiss. Gary bites his lip. He's smiling at you. Tee -hee. Me and Gary go way back to the first day when we kissed, and the second day when we kissed, and the third day when we kissed, behind everyone's back. I bet he's thinking about that time we kissed. Which time? We kissed like every day behind people's backs. What do you think about first kisses, princess? Uh, Blues Break VT. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome into the stream, too, by the way. Is the first kiss that important to me? First kisses are everything. It's important, but other things matter, too. They're always awkward. Yeah, I agree. There's no point putting so much pressure on that first moment of contact. Contact. These things take time. Oh, Song, you're such a good mod. Look at you. Look at you. Love that for me and for you. I agree, princess. How do you guys feel about first kisses? I had my first kiss um, at the age of 20. And it was very awkward. My friend drove me and my date um <laughs> to the mall she hung out with us at the mall because that was like my second ever date that i ever had and so we were in the he was in the back seat of her car and i was in the front seat and <laughs> we kissed and it was so awkward because she was just there in the driver's seat just trying to like be invisible oh my god i remember it and it was like it was so awkward i regret doing that I feel so bad for her. Bless her heart. The first kiss with my wifey was amazing. I love that for you. Davis, I can't believe you brought someone here. Look at you. Amazing. Love that for us. Also, hi. Um, How would you like me to address you, Blues Break VT? Do you want me to call you Blue? Blues? Blues Break? Break alicious. Let me know how you want me to address you. Like for fireworks? Sag, I haven't had one yet. You haven't had a first kiss? There you go. I just kissed you. I'm your first kiss. Kissing is only part of the dating thing. It's also about trying to sweep a girl off her feet. Yeah, exactly. Do you prefer a guy that takes his time or one that goes full on from the word go? I want a guy to be chill and easy going. I want to be swept off my feet. Why is it up to the guy to impress me? Why can't I have all of these options? Why, they, why can't they be chill and sweep me off my feet? Why can't I have the best of both worlds? Like Hannah Montana. Um, I want to be swept off my feet. No wonder you're with Rocco. Well, maybe one day I'll have the honor, princess. Maybe one day, but I doubt it, Lucas. Unless you're gonna give me money. I prefer a guy who does the sweeping. 
I'm not a fan of romantic tactics. I prefer things to be natural. Like, yeah, it can be natural, but you can do the sweeping too, you know? Cleaning's natural. It's a free country. I'm not the controlling type. That's a lie, Gary. I know. I know you. You're a little controlling. Oh yeah? That reminds me. What's going on with you and Marisol? I'm not going to force things. Oh, really? Yeah, if it's not working, then that's it. A spark is important. And a good breakfast. And a cup of tea. You can be casual and romantic too. If the chemistry is there, even little things will make your heart race. Exactly. Like, have you ever looked in someone's eyes that you like, like? And then you get shy? That happens to me all the time. It happens to me all the time. I get easily flustered. <laughs> Speaking of tea, we never did get our drink scary. Remember who has the power? Ah, my bad. One tea and Rocco's weird smoothie on their way. Do not bring me that smoothie, Gary. I will pour it out right in your face. Great. I can't put my finger on him. Trouble in paradise? With Gary? No. I just can't read him. Well, you both fancy each other, but you don't know if you should make a move because of what happened with Hannah. First of all, Gary's my man. They do not fancy each other. Gary's just blinded because Lottie's a little hot, okay? I get it. I get it. Lottie's a hottie, but I'm hotter. He'll get over it soon. Is that right? You're talking nonsense. Really? Yeah, leave it. There's an awkward shift in the air. Lottie sighs heavily. Well, I hope we do all right with the competition later today. I'm a little worried. The rest of the boys have history. Yeah, and having history means you've got an advantage. Or a disadvantage in some boys' cases. Lottie tilts her head around to look behind you. And speaking of boys with bad baggage, Rocco comes over. Hey guys, so let's go to the pool, yeah? Lottie leads you all over towards the pool. I love how my stream labs is just going wild today. Rocco absentmindedly follows. As I was saying, the only real thing a girl looks for in a man is trust. Trust is important. If I don't trust you, if I don't feel safe with you, no matter how much money you have, I'm leaving. Guys, wait up. Yeah, that's a real important quality for sure. Rocco looks left out. Um, turn away and ignore him. You turn back. You turn your back on Rocco and move closer to Lottie and Lucas and Henrik. You can never be too careful when you're letting your guard down. Right, princess? Right. Lottie sniffs violently and slides a few paces away from Rocco. Rocky, why do my actions have consequences? Exactly. Like, how is he going to make out with Marisol and be wrong about it? You know, at least be right if you're going to make out with her. Everything all right, Lottie? She glares at him. I take that as a no. Um, Henrik, didn't you say you had a sprain on your leg? Want me to take a look at it? Somewhere else? Oh, yeah, right. I've got this pain on my back. I mean, leg. Where are you guys going? Oh, just away from the tension. Lucas and Henrik slide past. They pat Rocco on the shoulder. Who is trying to win your heart? Everyone's trying to win my heart because I'm the hottest girl here. But I'm trying to um, cause the most drama, but I'm also on a Gary route. So, Lucas and Henrik slide past. They pat Rocco on the shoulder. Good luck, mate. I just want to talk to you girls about the whole judging best date thing. When the hell did Priya and Hope get here? <laughs> I did not see them pop up. I've got some super ideas. I have some super date ideas you're going to lap up. Can you hear that, girls? 
That sound is the lesser spotted male snake. He's in pursuit of not one, but five female mates. Princess, can you hear that? Can I hear that? It's the sound of snakes in the grass. You've changed your tune. I mean, am I not allowed to change my tune? I can ignore him right now and talk to him later. Let me be fake in peace, Priya. Lottie grins. She's seen the light. Very funny, girls. Speaking of snakes, I nearly got bitten by an adder when I was hiking. Ugh. In some brilliant exotic country, no doubt. No, in Seascale. It's on the coast of Cumbria. Oh, I didn't know we had snakes like that in... Priya! Priya looks at Lottie, eyebrows raised, a little angered by the interruption. I advised... I advise you, from my experience, not to interact with the untamed wildlife. You're just being ridiculous, Lottie. It wasn't even you I came to talk to. Princess. If that's how it is, girls, let's go. She power walks through the kitchen. Give him a piece of your mind, girl. Priya and Hope follow her in. Princess, could you spare me a second? I'd really like to talk to you about all of this. I've obviously done something pretty bad to get this frosty attitude. Let me make it right. This is my chance to talk to him about Marisol and find out what's actually going on. I could help him learn the errors of his ways or have a little fun messing with him. Do I want to have a chat with Rocco? I'm gonna chat with Rocco so you guys can see this scene about how trifling he is. But that's it, only so you can see how trifling he is. Lottie stands by the window watching your every move. Rocky, can you maybe say what you did wrong instead of being vague? I mean, he's about to find out what he did wrong because Rocky is stupid. He's stupid and doesn't understand. I can't concentrate with her watching us like that. Let's go to the terrace. How dare he want to waste my good sun tanning hours just to talk on the terrace about nothing. Rocco plumps himself down on a chair near the balcony. You know, my food truck has a pop-up roof terrace to relax on. Being here always makes me think of it. Go back to your little van then, okay? I don't care. I love there to clear my head sometimes. A pop-up roof on the terrace of his truck sounds really dangerous. No, it's proper solid. Just like my heart. Wish I could say the same thing about my relationships in here. Maybe if you weren't fucking Marisol behind my back, you wouldn't have a problem. I say as I'm doing the exact same thing with Gary. Why is everyone so off with me? Rocco wants the details. Should I be honest or use this chance to mess with him? Uh, you've been flirting with all of us. You've been having it on with all the girls. Lottie was so cross she wanted all of us girls to give you the cold shoulder. But you didn't. No, I thought it'd be better if we talked about it. I really appreciate that, princess. But they're wrong. It's not what it looks like. Then what does it look like then? What does it look like then? The thing is, I haven't been true to myself. So you're saying your true self is a whore? Are you a whore, Rocco? Derogatory? Not affectionate? I know it probably seems like I'm just being a massive player, but I'm not playing a game here. I'm trying to work out if I have feelings for Marisol. Then why are you grafting all the- Look at me stuttering, because I'm upset. Then why grafting all the girls? Why not just her? You want the honest truth? Yes, I've been wanting that the whole time. I've been trying to suss out if I get the feeling. The feeling? Yeah, you know when you're traveling? It's always exciting to go away somewhere new. Although eventually you end up missing your bed at home, right? But if you've never went away, you'd never experience that longing for home comfort. I get that feeling. I just get that feeling that Marisol could be both, you know? Wow, and I'm not? I'm not a trip away and home at the same time? Wow, disrespectful. <laughs> what is this sad sloth? Why are you sad? She's the exciting trip away and the warmth and comfort 
of home all in one. Rocco is saying he's got the hots for Marisol. <laughs> what if I told him to get out of my face? It's Grumpy Sloth to me. Oh, is that Sloth Grumpy? Let me look. Let me get the computer right in my face. I see it. It looked like it was crying from far away. Um, so am I just your comfort blanket? And Marisol is just a sleeping bag or a hammock you're trying out? It's a serious law. Hi, Cookie! Welcome in! Rocco is a himbo? Rocco is not a himbo. Himbo is an affectionate word. Rocco is a slur. Derogatory. You're joking, right? Do you know how that sounds? No, I'm not explaining it right. Rocky can't be a himbo. He doesn't respect women. Exactly. Himbos drink their respect women juice. Quit laying on the cryptic stuff, Rocco. You're full of it. Everything you say is nonsense. I'm sorry, princess. Really, I am. I wish this could have worked. But I thought it'd be better that you know how I felt, you know? Seriously, thank you for giving me a spare second to talk, princess. I hope I haven't offended you too much. Ooh, he's about to have me saying words out here that I should not be saying on stream. He heads down from the roof terrace, leading you with just the sound of your thoughts. I can't believe it. Rocco likes Marisol. I'm already over him. Plenty more fish in the sea. This is Love Island after all. At least I know, at least I now know for sure that I'd better get my graft on if Rocco's got the hots for Marisol. I'd push him down the stairs. I mean, I'd at least throw something in his way so he trips. So you can't say that I I pushed him. My DNA's not on him. I might end up single. Who's here? Gary's boiling the kettle in the kitchen. Look at us. Ugh, break. Lottie's here too. I still can't believe Marisol and Rocco. It's like they have no respect for boundaries. Lottie looks at you skeptically. I hope breaking your cold shoulder valve was worth it, hun. Lottie's asking about my chat with Rocco. I'm gonna tell her what happened. He sure up admitted that after everything that's happened, he'd still rather be with Marisol. Oh, hun, I'm so sorry. Lottie here looking as good as usual. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't act. She does look good, but still, you so don't deserve that. Gary, quick, princess needs her tea. Gary comes over, drinks in hand. Some green stuff for princess? He's staying with this green stuff. I don't want it. Great, round two of this goop. Don't drink that princess. We've no idea where that boy has been. And of course, a cup of tea for Lottie. Thanks, I need this for my reading. This whole thing is exhausting. I don't know why you're exhausted. This has been happening to me. It's all just momentary drama. You'll all have forgotten about it next week. You don't know that, Bobby. We'll just have to see what the tea leaves say. Priya, Hope, Noah, Marisol, and Ibrahim all walk into the kitchen. Uh-oh. Marisol looks around the kitchen. Is Lottie playing with her nails or is she sharpening them? Me. Kind of an atmosphere in here, huh? I'll just go sort my hair or something. Yeah, go do that. You want to talk it out somewhere private, Lottie? Gary, stop. You're hurting my feelings. Sure, let's go. I need to do my tea leaf reading in peace. They both head back outside, slipping past the others. That was the very definition of awkward. I'm so not built for this drama. Then why'd you come here? Why'd you come here, Bobby, if you're not built for it? Anyway, as I was saying before that happened, Ibrahim, your chair move game is so weak. I can do the chair move way better than you. What's the chair move? It's when you're on a date with someone and they pull the chair out for you. It's gotta be smooth. I hate this scene coming up. <laughs> what did you expect, Bobby? Exactly, Song. What did he expect? He's on Love Island. It's reality TV. It's all drama. There's no reality TV that does not have a single ounce of drama. Go on, Rahim, show us your chair move. Ibrahim takes a deep breath and walks up to Priya. Ouch! 
It scrapes against your foot. Hard. Oops. Ibrahim's chair move didn't go as planned. I'm gonna fake a broken toe. <laughs> ah, no, my toe, I think it's broken. What, princess, I'm so sorry. Lucas is a physiotherapist. We can get him to look at it. Damn, I forgot we had an expert in the villa. <laughs> I love that scene because like, why is she extra like that? <laughs> like, what was the purpose of that? Hell yeah, get dramatic. Maybe I should feign an injury to get his attention. Though, I don't want him to think I'm an attention seeker. I am. I definitely am an attention seeker. You know, it's suddenly feeling a lot better. Okay, great. The the furnace came on. Whoa, thank goodness. That scared the life out of me. No, no. Ibrahim, kiss my toe and make it better. You injured it? You make it right. Apologize to my big toe right now. Ibrahim doesn't know how to pull out a chair, apparently. But at least now we know he responds quickly and effectively to a possible emergency. Exactly. Tell him what's what, Davis. Tell him what's what. That's brownie points for sure. Maybe for you. Maybe that's brownie points for you. But not for me. He lost several points. He nervously chuckles. Sure. Changing the subject. You worried about this most dateable contest, Bobby? Nope, not me. I just try and live in the moment. I don't worry about the future until I'm stuck in it. The present moment is everything. I like that motto. Don't you mean YOLO? You should be worried. Oh, simmer down, princess. You're not pinning all your seriousness on me. Ibrahim picks up the chair and puts it back under the table. I'm totally going to blow this challenge later. Don't worry, hon. I'll be voting for you. Ibrahim smiles, but his eyes still seem panicked. Well, whatever happens, I know I'll be sticking by my Noah. She kisses him on the cheek. He blushes and turns to stroke her hair. Noah and Hope gaze at each other. That will not last for long. They're really wrapped up in each other. Make a joke. You guys need a map or a sat-nav or something. What do you mean, uh? You were lost in each other's eyes. Oh, nice one, princess. Nope. <laughs> nope. Hope and Noah don't respond. Hate to break up this little moment, but I've got another text. Noah and Hope have been together a while, I think. Nope. Listen, I don't want to spoil stuff for later. So we're just going to leave it at that. But don't worry. I will be aiming to break up their relationship. Noah and Hope don't respond. Excuse me. Guys, I got a text. Hope needs to be voted on. <laughs> Ack, what is this hostility towards Hope? Noah and Hope snap instantly out of their trance. Lottie and Gary come running in, followed by Rocco and Marisol. What does it say, hon? Islanders, this afternoon, the boys will be... <laughs> Islanders, this afternoon, the boys will be performing in a talent contest. The girls will choose which boys act impresses them the most. Hashtag Islanders got talent. Hashtag Mr. Love Island. A talent contest? When the, when the fuck did you guys get here? <laughs> we're, in the, we're in the deep end now, Lucas. This is perfect. It's about time you guys put on a show for us. Ha, huh, my kind of challenge. Smilers wear a crown and losers wear a frown. But what will happen to the loser? Wouldn't you like to know, Rocco? Wouldn't you like to know? All will be revealed, Rocco. All will be revealed. Coming up. Rocco gets choked up on his feelings. I came into the villa to find my soulmate and make a meaningful connection. And Bobby amazes the girls with his sleight of hand. But wait. What's this I can fill in my bikini bottoms? The pageant. Time for the boys to show off their talents in the Mr. Love Island pageant. You'll see my face um Sunday though. I'll be back streaming Pokemon. Gary's nan used to say, if you want to prove to a girl you're a boyfriend material, win an impromptu Mr. Love Island contest. 
Can't wait to see who tap dances. <clears throat> what do you think someone's gonna tap dance, song? Is that your special talent? Can you tap dance? She's a strange one, his man. While the boys are busy stuffing their budgie, budgie smugglers and figuring out how to showcase their talent, the girls are practicing their judging skills by, well, by being judgy. My first thought when someone mentions a talent show. Can you tap dance though? I used to tap dance um, when I was in first and second grade. I took tap and ballet and I was pretty good. But you know, I can't dance anymore. I lost that ability in the war. This is how it's meant to be, ladies. The lads flapping about trying to impress us while we lounge by the pool. But what are they meant to be doing? Aren't talent shows all skimpy swimsuits and speeches about world peace? Bring on the sexy swimwear, I say. I can't wait to see what Noah's hidden talent is. What would you guys say your talent is? What talent do you guys possess? Um, Lottie can tap dance, I bet. I mean, maybe, maybe. I feel like Lottie could dance. Lottie seems like she's a good dancer. What I say my talent is, I usually sing. I usually sing at talent shows. Not anymore, though. Not after the trauma. I don't sing anymore. I can burp the alphabet, though. I'm not gonna do it, but fun fact. Gil says he doesn't want me to. I think he's jealous. I think he's jealous that he can't burp the alphabet. He said that's gross. I don't think it's gross, I think it's fun. <laughs> She's defo already seen his hidden talent. Uh, for something like this, either dancing or singing, I don't know. Nah, this is lighthearted. This, is, this isn't a serious talent show. You'll see the boys' talents, it's mediocre. <laughs> The girls laugh and nudge Hope, who goes red. What are you looking? What are you going to be looking for, Princess? What makes a guy Mr. Love Island? Sex appeal, babes. Hotness. They've got to have the body and the smolder. Keeping it nice and shallow, then. You know it, babes. Noah checks all those boxes. He's he'll ace this challenge. Do you think Bobby will make a cake? Um, you better make a cake. That's gotta be the main perk of coupling up with a professional chef. Homemade cakes. If he wants my vote, he better get baking. You and Gary can burp the alphabet together. It's so romantic. I don't know, can Gary burp the alphabet? I don't think that's his special talent. That's definitely not the talent he's gonna show off. But I feel like, you know, he'd be down for that. He might be grossed out. Gary's a fickle man. He's a fickle, fickle man. If he wants my vote, he better get baking. At least Bobby has a skill. What's Gary gonna do? Talk about his nan? Aw, uh, don't be mean. It's sweet that he's so close to his nan. A bit too close to his nan if you ask me. Are you trying to say he fancies his nan? Marisol, he just loves his nan. It's a sweet quality. Stop psychoanalyzing everything. Maybe you should analyze your taste in men, Marisol. Get her, Lottie. Attack her. Bite her. Gary is pretty handy, but he can make a shoe rack out of lollipop sticks. I think most of the guys have something going for them. You burps the A, Gary. Good heavens. <laughs> Imag I'm like imagining that happening, honestly. It seems like it'd be really funny. What's Rocco's talent? Cracking onto all your mates in a day? There's an awkward silence. All the girls look at you simply sympathetically except marisol who stares at her nails i'm sorry babe but you know it's true you're right grafting on the sly is his talent rocco's been terrible he won't be getting two words out of me unless he starts talking about adders they're well poisonous and it happened in cambria how close is that it doesn't matter how good his snake chat was we weren't talking to him priya Priya pouts and crosses her arms. Rocco's not all bad. He shouldn't ju we shouldn't judge him too harshly. I'll judge however I like, thanks very much. Be real, Marisol. Would you want to date someone who's done what he's done? 
I couldn't date a guy who I outright knew I couldn't trust. I don't know. There's something about bad boys. Am I right, princess? I mean, do I like a bad boy? I do, and that's why I end up in bad situations. <laughs> that's my type. If you look like a criminal, I see you, I see you, and I'm down. What is this emote? What is this emote, Davis? Oh, okay, I see it now. I thought it was a half moon clown at first. But that's just because I have bad eyes. I definitely need to go to the eye doctor. I have not been in two years. But who has the money for the eye doctor? Not me. I think they're sexy. I don't know what it is about them. I can't explain it. I know what it is about bad boys. It's because they seem mysterious. But they're not. They're all the same. A chaos emote I made. Ooh. You made that? You made the emotes? For who? Whose emote's that for? Tell them. Self-promote. I'm letting you self-promote in my chat. I can. It's called being a tool bag. Come on, girls. This talent show is divine providence. For Chrissy... Is it Chris K? For Chris K. That's how that name looks to me. So that's how I'm calling them. Okay, cool. I got it right. Look at me. Talented. Can finally read. Or it's a fun challenge and we should put all this Rocco drama behind us. Princess was right. He made his bed and he can lie in it. Exactly. He's getting what he deserves. Really, Lottie? Your reluctance to let this go? You watch Lottie glare at Marisol. I think I left my water bottle in the kitchen. Me too, Princess. You're filling up your water bottle when you hear a hiss. Psst. If all this snake talk has actually attracted a snake. Psst. You turn towards the noise, hand raised, ready to chuck your bottle. It's only Noah. Psst. Princess. Bobby needs your help. Fuck Bobby. Help with what? He looks around fur furtively. Furtively? Whatever, you guys know what that word is. I know you're smart. Mr. Love Island, I can't talk out here. Come with me. He's upstairs. Noah darts off towards the villa and you follow. Love Island tries something different and lets those venomous snakes, and lets loose the venomous snakes. They would never do that. There's already snakes here. It's me. I'm a king cobra. They weren't getting enough views. <laughs> If you want to win a Mr. Love Island contest, raid the judge's makeup and wardrobe. A passion fruit scent mist lingers in the air as you follow Noah into the dressing room. The first thing you see is Bobby crowbarring himself into one of Priya's dresses. Henrik is looking at different lipsticks. Are you sure it won't be too much? No, pal. It's definitely your color. It's like Miss World meets the horror movie about the evil clown. It? You my boy Pennywise? Don't get me started on Pennywise. That's daddy right there. What if I just walked in on? You've gotta help, princess. I can't get Priya's dress on. Priya's dress? I suppose it would be a good excuse to get personal with Bobby. And this would put me in his good books. Plus the lads really respect him, so helping him out could be useful. <laughs> I don't understand your use of the sloth when I said that Pennywise was daddy. Um, though I could help someone else. I'm gonna help someone else. I'm gonna help... I'm gonna help Noah. We need more hearts with Noah. Like, we're on a Gary route, yes. But, you know, I kind of trying to, I'm kind of trying to steal Noah from hope, so... I don't appreciate your sloth, okay? Judging me about my ch my my choices in men. Gotta do that nope drama, exactly, exactly. You wander over to Noah who's helping Henrik apply lipstick. All done, you look fabulous if I do say so myself. 
princess. What do you think? I think you've both lost the plot. Fire engine red's your color. Could I have some? Noah smiles. Sure. He haphazardly applies lipstick to your lips. Smooth strokes, Noah. That's the key. I'm on it. Surprisingly, it doesn't smudge all over your face. Why are you here? Want me to do your eyeliner? I'm surprisingly good with the flicky cat eyes one. I've come to help you win. Really? That would be great. Let's talk game plan somewhere quieter. Also, I love this scene. Like, this scene is really sweet. Like, no matter who you do the scene with, it's a really sweet scene. But I feel like we need more Noah action because we don't see him. We don't see Noah because he's always with hope. Princess has taken Noah to the bedroom to find his, his hidden talent. That sounds very suspicious. Nice try, Princess. We've all heard that one before. So, there's a swimsuit bit. Then it's the hidden talents and some kind of speech. Don't worry about the swimsuit bit. You've got a hot body. You look Noah over and bite your bottom lip. Noah gives you a big smile and flexes a bit. I'll make sure you get a good view then. Ooh, okay. Okay, Noah. With the speech, all you have to do is be yourself. Is being myself going to be enough? Um, it's enough for me. Move closer to Noah and smile. I think you're the most dateable guy here. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Look at me slurring about. I'm slurring about. I'm slithering. I'm slurring. Noah looks uncomfortable and shuffles away from you on the bed. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks. The part you want to get right is the hidden talent bit. For example, I can burp the alphabet. I don't believe you. You clear your throat as Noah looks on amused, and you start burping the alphabet. You get all the way to the end and Noah gives you a round of applause. Very subtle. <laughs> he, he was not feeling that when I was trying to flirt with him that time. That was awesome. My point is, it doesn't have to be something major. It can be entertaining or surprising or unusual. I've got it. I know what I'm going to do. Are you planning on telling me? I wouldn't want to ruin the surprise. At least give me a clue. Let's just say I'm going to turn a few heads. I hope that's a good thing. Hydrate and a stretch. Okay, on it, boss. I'm going to hydrate first. Noah holds his arms open to give you a hug. He's hugging me. I'll be letting Rocco know how lucky he is to be coupled up with someone so sweet. This fucking water bottle, thank you. Okay, I took sippy. I stretch now. Give me a second. Ugh. It's kind of hard to stretch in this dress. Well, it's not even a dress, it's a skirt. But I, I don't wear skirts often. And I don't know why I got all the way down on the floor to stretch. I could have just stretched like a normal person, but no, I started doing leg stretches. Okay, we're back. We're b -b 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 back. I'm so glad you showed up, princess. Of course I was gonna show up. I'll be expecting a check in the post. You wink at Noah and he smiles back warmly. Everything is quiet for a moment. Noah looks at you as if he's seeing you clearly for the first time. Thanks, princess. I guess I should get ready then. Go and win that sash. Guess who's not about to win though? Cause I'm about to rig this vote. Noah gets up and makes his way back towards the dressing room. He looks back and flashes you a smile. I wonder what his hidden talent is. You step back outside. The girls have draped themselves over the day beds. How's it looking in there? I'm telling you, it's chaos. What are they doing? You don't want to know. Anyway, we'll be finding out soon enough. You stretch out and enjoy the feeling of the sun's warmth on your skin. The calm is interrupted by Priya yelling. I've got a text. She, she's always the one with the text. When will it be my turn or Lottie's turn? Cause Lottie's my, Lottie's my best friend for right now. 
until I switch it up on her later and it's Priya. <laughs> Ladies, take your seats at the judges table. It's time to decide which boy has what it takes to be crowned Mr. Love Island. Hashtag work it boys. Hashtag ladies choice. We're in for a right treat. Excitedly, you all make your way over to the lawn to take your places at the judges table. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Our first ever Mr. Love Island. The categories include swimsuit, speech, and my personal favorite, hidden talent. Over to you, Gary. Yes, Gary. Woo! Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Welcome to Mr. Love Island. The girls ooh and ah over the makeover to the pool area. Check out how fancy they made it. Can we keep the pillars? It's so Miss World. We've got three rounds of fun for you lovely ladies. At the end of them, one of the Love Island boys gets a pretty sash and a tiny crown. It's called a tiara, Gary. Not to mention a special something to be announced. The Islanders ooh and giggle. This is so exciting. We kick off with the swimwear round. Our first contender is sexy, suave, and great with his hands. Gary holds his hands up to cheers from the girls. Ah, Gary! Oh my god! Ah! Form an orderly cue, ladies. He struts around the pool to the music, pausing to strike different muscle man poses. Sweet lord. Go, Gary! Go, Gary! The candy jewel tax. Thank you for the candy jewel tax, Davis. The candy jewel tax does absolutely nothing except for I acknowledge you more. <laughs> That's it. You just get extra attention. When he arrives in front of the judge's table, he slowly removes his top to reveal his muscular chest and abs. Take it all off. Yes, I love this scene because you can make him do that. Because why does he have that on under his swimsuit? Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. In a flash, Gary whips off his shorts to reveal his budgie smugglers. Seductively, Gary approaches Marisol. She can't stop laughing. Now why are you going over there when you could be coming over here? What are you doing? Gary pulls out a bottle of baby oil and squirts it onto his chest to howls of laughter from the girls. Marisol rubs the oil into Gary's chest, cringing all the way. Don't act like you don't love it. I would love it, Gary. I would love it. It isn't an act. I'd hate to be the fellow that had to follow that up. Next up, the best thing to come out of Sweden since ABBA and meatballs. It's Henrik. Woo, Henrik. <laughs> Henrik emerges in swimming trunks covered in glitter wearing bright red lipstick. Why is he wearing my lippy? And why does it look better on him? Work it, Henrik. Yes, queen. Henrik struts towards the judges table, gives the ladies a twirl and blows them a kiss. That's what I'm talking about. Next up, a master baker who's sure to get your temperature rising. It's Bobby. He got lippy stick. We can be makeup BFs together. Do you have lipstick? I don't like lipstick. I don't like the, the feeling. And then it doesn't taste good. Lip gloss, though? Love me a good lip gloss. Especially if it tastes good. I mean, I know you're not supposed to eat your lip gloss. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm like five, okay? If it's tasty, I'm eating it. I don't care if it's not supposed to be eaten. Bobby emerges in a dress. All the girls erupt into laughter with the exception of Priya. That's my dress. The girls clap and Bobby struts his way to the judges table. Glad you're loving the show, ladies. I've been practicing. Bobby loses his footing and falls hard onto the decking. Me. I understand, Bobby. I would also trip in heels. His commando roll, he commando rolls to his feet and runs off leaving the girls in hysterics. Lipstick especially? Only sometimes I don't like how makeup feels either. Yeah, I hate wearing makeup. 
and I'm not good at makeup, but people are like, your makeup looks really good. I'm like, you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Whenever I wear makeup, I'm just like, fibs, my makeup could be better. That was the best thing I've ever seen. Next up, a man who never misses a flight, Rocco. Rocco's up next. I should... I'm gonna boo under my breath. Marisol shoots daggers at you and you stop. Lottie gives you a nod of approval. I wouldn't stop if Marisol was looking at me. I would boo louder. Babe, you can fucking fight me. You can catch these hands, run me your fade. Rocco begins to run through yoga poses to show off his physique. Lottie yawns loudly while Priya and Hope share notes. I'm gonna be nice, I'll clap politely. You clap politely and Marisol joins in. Rocco joins his hands and thanks. Yeah, I mean, we've got this far, why would I stop because Marisol don't approve? Exactly. If Marisol wants to fight me, tell her she lay her hands on me, she's out. She can leave. No more chances at love for her. Moving swiftly on, he's everyone's favorite bit of posh. It's Lucas. Lucas appears at the other end of the pool and dives in. What's he doing? He's meant to show off his swimwear, not go for a dip. Lucas reemerges and pulls himself out of the pool, his muscles glistening in the sun. Am I the only one watching this in slow motion? His trunks are clinging to all the right places. Can we make him do that again? Noah and Ibrahim wrap up the swimsuit category, making temperatures soar with their sculpted physiques. As the boys get ready for the talent round, the girls put their, ha their heads together to compare notes. I love that we're getting to judge all the boys. This is a dream come true. Favorites, girls, who's tickling your fancy? Bobby's top of my list. No surprises here, but it's Noah all the way. But after that display, Lucas is coming a close second. Princess, who's your favorite so far? It's Gary. I'm liking Gary. Me too. Marisol, shut up. Who's ready to see some hidden talents? Get them out, boys. Study on, Laza. First, we have a man of few words. Let's give it up for Noah. I wonder what his talent is. I bet it's something to do with books. Watch him read the whole dictionary. <laughs> for my talent, I will need the help of a lovely assistant. Volunteer. Put yourself in there. You jump out of your seat and take a seat in front of Noah. Noah's fingers dance through your hair, teasing strands away from your face until the dictionary. Yes, because she said, watch it be something with books. And I couldn't couldn't think of anything that like a librarian would do involving books besides, I don't know, the Dewey Decimal System. I want to be a librarian. But then I found out you had to go to school to be a librarian. And I was like, you know what? It's not for me. Not for me. Back now on my PC? When did you leave, buddy? When did you leave? I was wondering why you were so silent. Missing all the, the Lottie stuff. I'm all done. You touch the back of your head and are amazed to find an exemplary, expertly plated French braid. You twirl around to show off your hair to the girls. Oh, right after the chance, the, the chance, the tap dance convo. Why do I keep combining words? Like, is that an issue? Is my brain just like not okay? It looks gorgeous. The girls applaud, clearly impressed. Hope beams with pride. It takes me forever to do a French braid. Next up, our own resident shaman, it's Rocco. Rocco emerges holding a tin can that he rattles ceremoniously. Today, I'll be performing a ritual I learned on my travels. I learned, yeah, I learned on my travels in Iceland. Gary and Lottie roll their eyes at the same time. A cleansing ritual to invoke a blessing from the spirits. You might want to find cover girls. It's about to pour down. Rocco begins stomping his right foot and chanting while rattling his tin can. Lottie looks on entranced. You look up at the sky for a second it looks as if it's getting darker. 
The dance goes on and on and on. Three long minutes later, the girls are bored and Rocco looks worried. Rocco's dancing and nothing's happening. Try jumping higher. <laughs> Rocco leaps higher. Marisol shakes her head sadly. <laughs> Clearly, the spirits have been watching and they ain't impressed. Dejected, Rocco heads back to the boys. Ibrahim gives him a reassuring pat on the shoulder. It worked in Ray Ray of Ray Kajavik. Is it Rajikovic? Ray Ka Rajavik? I don't know how to speak Icelandic, okay? Is that their language, Icelandic, or am I stupid? If you know, let me know. Moving swiftly on, Ibrahim's act involves a blindfold and a Rubik's Cube. Christian Grey, eat your heart out. Ibrahim removes his shirt and sits on the ground with the Rubik's Cube in his hands. Yeah, Icelandic? Okay. I don't know how to pronounce that. Reykjavik? I think that's how you say it. You got chamomile tea? You trying to take a nap? That's the only time I would drink chamomile tea if I need to go to sleep. Hope, could you secure my blindfold, please? It's on tight. She waves her hand in front of his, in front of him to no reaction. He can't see a thing. Start the timer, Marisol. Marisol hits the timer. Ibrahim begins to do ab crunches and twist and click the Rubik's Cube into place. The girls watch on in anticipation. He's on 20 crunches. He's never finishing it. Cheer him on, I'm gonna cheer him on. Come on, Rahim, you've got this. 40 seconds, Ibrahim. Done. That was 44 crunches in 40 seconds. He removes his blindfold and proudly holds up the completed cube. Priya stands up to applaud. That was ridiculously hot. And it was definitely quicker than Rocco's bit. The afternoon is a whirlwind of questionable talents like Henrik's eyebrow dancing. Let the rhythm take you over, ladies. Is that what you're into, song? You're into them eyebrows? This is just creepy. Some talents are hard to watch. Gary's not gonna eat that raw onion, is he? Prepare to be amazed. It's like watching a starved donkey. Gary, you're sleeping outside tonight. I can smell your breath from here. I love a good eyebrow LOL or two. <laughs> I love Gary's talent because like why the fuck are you so fucking weird, bro? Like out of everything you could do, you decide to eat a raw onion. Other talents nearly take an eye out. Observe as I peel this boiled egg using one hand. Why is he blowing into the boiled egg? He is really going red. The egg shoots out of his hand and heads directly for Lottie. I'm the pusher. <laughs> You push Lottie out of the way and the egg hits you in the forehead. <laughs> Couldn't you have just warned me? I saved your life, Lottie! Ta-da! <laughs> Playing fast and loose with the word talent, boys. Bobby plans to amaze the girls with his sleight of hand. Get down, Mr. President! <laughs> exactly. Um, there's- I should've- I think I should've told her to duck. Cause if I told her to duck, the egg would have hit Marisol instead. But I don't know, sometimes I feel like being a little mean to Lottie, as a treat. And a dress that leaves nothing to the imagination. If you look closely, you'll see I'm wearing nothing more than a skimpy frock. That's not even the most revealing one I brought. That's not nice. Lottie's nothing but a sweetheart. <laughs> Lottie's doing the most all the time at every single moment of the day, just like me. And either he stuffed the bottom half or he needs a doctor urgently. But wait, what's this I can feel? Bobby pulls out a large handkerchief from his cleavage and shakes it out to show nothing is hidden within it. Then with a flick of his wrist and a puff of smoke, the hanky disappears and a perfect cupcake appears in his hand. Now where did he get smoke from? Where was he hiding that? Oh no. Not the bulge. Something sweet for someone sweet. He places the cupcake in front of you. 
Uh, there's no way I'm eating that. You better. I made it especially. Where were you hiding this? That concludes the talent round. I'm not eating his pube cupcake. Bobby's still top of my list. Poor Rocco. This is not going well for him. It's poetic justice. You can't honestly think that. He deserves it. The one day he needs his Mr. Smooth act to work and it all falls apart? He's still got a chance to turn it around. Let's see what he does. E <laughs> You're right, song. Act. Seek help. Seek. Seek a doctor. Someone needs to do medical surgery on your brain. <laughs> do not eat the pube cupcake. It's time for the speeches and Bobby is the first up. Someone once said, you can't hurry, love. It was probably Gary's Nan. Do you mind, princess? I'm giving a speech here. Anyway, I'm pretty sure they must have been an amazing baker. It takes time and the right ingredients to craft the perfect pastry. The same goes for finding someone special. When I do find her, she'll always have a fresh pastry in her hand and a smile on her face. I'm a slow clap. The other girls join in and applause builds. Bobby takes a bow. A bow, a bow. A bow. He takes a bow, not a bow, a bow. Thank you, ladies. Like, that's sweet and everything. Because a bitch does love pastries. But too bad Bobby's in the family zone. Too bad he's my cousin, you know? Someone better eat that cupcake. It was made with love. Nobody's eating your pube cupcake. Next up is the big old softy Gary. I want to talk about something close to my heart. So, your nan then. Actually, not my nan, but she does get a mention. You should eat it, Bobby. Exactly. Exactly, he should eat it. We'd expect nothing less. Some of you know that my nan is big on charity work. She taught me to give back to society and to get involved in community issues. I've helped her out at the soup kitchen and helped to build the local youth center. I may not bang on about spiritual connections or being at one with the world, but I care about the folk around me and I know that if I win Mr. Love Island, I'll bring that community spirit to the house. Wow, I've never seen a serious side to Gary before. I have Marisol. I have. And to top it off, just look at me. No need to pinch yourselves, ladies. I'm real. And there it is. Gary has my vote. He has my vote. Mine too. Lottie, watch yourself. Watch yourself before I shank you. Next up is Rocco. Get ready to be led in a group chant. I came into the villa to find my soulmate and make a meaningful connection. Rocco is talking about soulmates. This is the perfect time to discuss soulmates. Do you girls believe in soulmates? I mean, it could be possible. Um, are you sure, Marisol? Because I think I remember on like the second day you were talking about soulmates being bullshit. So I don't want to hear nothing from you. I didn't ask. Keep your opinion to yourself. I think I might have found my soulmate. You didn't, because I'm about to ruin that for you. On my journey to find love, I have made mistakes. He looks you in the eyes. Mistakes I deeply regret. But to err is human, and to forgive is divine. Hopefully, the connection I make in the villa will blossom into something wonderful. And that energy can lift the cloud that seems to be hanging over the villa. The cheek of this guy... Rocco takes a seat to a smattering applause and the remaining speeches continue. I think it's possible to find someone that feels like a soulmate or become one over time. I mean, I think it is too. I think there are soulmates. What is it called? Um, is it a twin flame? I think there are soulmates and then there's twin flames. And then soulmates, I don't know. I don't want to get too spiritual or anything. But I believe in soulmates, and I believe in twin flames, and I believe in manifestation. Manifest yourself a hottie, okay? Go get you a baddie. It's not gonna be me, because, you know, I'm unattainable. But get you someone like me, you know? 
Uh, I think it's a match of energy. I did, lol. She's way hotter than me, not gonna lie. See? Look at you. Look at you. Breaking the mold, Ak. You got yourself a MILF. I love that for you. I hope I'm a MILF someday. I'm actually terrified of being a mom. <laughs> It just seems so scary to me because like like yeah when they're 18 they're legal and they can do whatever they want basically almost and like but your job as a parent does not stop after age 18 like that that person is your whole ass responsibility for the rest of your life basically and i don't know if i can have i don't know if i can handle all that responsibility like i said i'm like five I gotta manifest my hotness first. You know what? I'm with you. Let's manifest some hotness together. I used to be a baddie. And I'm not a baddie anymore. But I will be again someday. She fed me and bought me alcohol. <laughs> MILF is a feeling. I mean, you definitely have to be a, a mom to be a MILF. Like, that's the, that's the base requirement. <laughs> Don't need kids to be a MILF. Just give yourself some mommy vibes. You definitely need kids to be a MILF. You cannot be a MILF without kids. Life is all about real human connections, getting to know people, and really enjoying life together. Aw, Henrik's is so sweet. I've been lucky to never have known true hardship, which is why I take nothing for granted. I don't believe that for a second, Lucas. We know you're privileged. We know you're privileged. I see you. I clocked you. I know exactly who you are. Not money, not friendships, definitely not love lucas must be absolutely minted noah's up next hope cheers as he takes the mic i am probably the least dateable guy in this villa if i'm honest maybe i shouldn't have told him this was the easy bit because i think it's clear to everyone by now there's only one woman one woman one woman in here who i want to date noah's already decided that Decided Hope is the one. That's a bit stupid. But I think Mr. Love Island should be the one who shows that it is possible to find love in here. And a reminder that with the right person, you can be a better version of yourself. That's how I feel with Hope. Oh, babe, I'm gonna cry. Ibrahim takes his place in front of the judges to give the final speech of the afternoon. I'm way more comfortable talking about superheroes than cracking on the girls. Babes, don't we know it? You stay talking about some superheroes. I'm a bit like my heroes. Only what you all see is my alter ego. Sir, stop this. Please sit down. But what's inside, that's the hero. Inside, there's someone who believes in truth and justice. Someone who believes in real love. I may not always say the right thing, but I try to do the right thing. And if I won Mr. Love Island, you could always count on me to be honest and do the right thing. Ibrahim, based on what I know in the future, I can't trust you. I can't trust you as far as I can throw you. So Ibrahim thinks he's one of the good guys. That's what all the players say. The boys and girls applaud. Right, ladies, time to make your decision. You huddled together to add up the scores. Ibrahim was great, but I think I'm going with Lucas. So that's 15 points for Lucas. That's five more than Rocco. I still think you were all a bit harsh with your scoring. Maddie, welcome in. How are you doing, Maddie? How are you doing today on Memorial Day of all days? The day of Memorial. Er, uh, I voted down Henrik for that weird eyebrow thing. Yeah, and after Lucas attacked you with that egg, Marisol pouts. Fine, so it's tied between Noah, Gary, Ibrahim, Bobby, basically. Well, Noah gets my vote. Ibrahim was great, but so was Gary. It's really hard to decide. You got food? I'm gonna get food after I end stream. Hopefully it's tasty. Could ever be too sure with these things. I'm torn between Bobby and Gary. They both had me in stitches. What'd you get? What'd you get to eat, Maddie? Who do you think should be Mr. Love Island Princess? It's Gary. I'm not letting Noah win because I want Gary to win. 
I'm rigging the vote. Gary is hands down the most dateable guy in here. He gets my vote. The girls deliberate a few minutes longer. The deciding vote is down to Priya. I felt like I was yelling this whole time because like the the AC was on. I said the heater, but like I guess the heater and the AC is the same thing. I don't know. Don't ask me, I don't know shit about nothing. Okay, final decision. I agree with Princess. Gary should win. That's settled then. The boys line up in front of the judges' table. Hope holds a sash and a tiara ready to crown Mr. Love Island. Wait, what's wrong with the AC? Oh, because I'm at Gil's house and he's using the pewter outside. The um the heater furnace thingy is in his room. And so it's loud as fuck. So I feel like I was yelling the whole time, but now it's off. <laughs> so I like have to lower my voice. My my voice? My voice now? Look at me. A hot mess. When can I ever not be a hot mess? There was one clear winner. We all agreed he was the guy who we'd most like to go on a date with. The Love Island boy we decide was the most dateable is Gary. <laughs> Look at him. I love this. <laughs> Gary raises his hands in the air in victory. He shakes hands and exchanges hugs with the boys before Hope crowns him. Gary's phone beeps. I've got a text. Must be that special prize. What does it say? Congratulations on winning Mr. Love Island. For your prize, you'll be getting a phone call from someone special. Hashtag family land. Hashtag feel the love. <laughs> oh, thank you, Song, for dropping the Discord with all the other Streamlabs messages. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Oh, it's my hair tie. I was like, why is it cold? Because I'm not wearing it. I can't believe it. I'm going to get to talk to someone from back home. I wonder who it's going to be. It's probably going to be her grandma. you got to give a speech before your call. Streamlabs was very talkative today. That's because I have so many of you wonderful people chatting away. So Streamlabs is going to talk more because it wants to feel part of the conversation. The Islanders chant, speech, 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 and Gary turns to face them, beaming. Clearly, you ladies know quality when you see it. Joking aside, though, I meant what I said. You lot are like family. Before Gary can carry on, the boys rush over and push him into the pool. Thanks for that. Now my sash is wet. And it was so pretty, too. Mr. Love Island has been crowned and we've all learned a little something about the boys. Red is Henrik's color. And Bobby wore it better than Priya. Now, can someone give Gary a mint? Next time on Love Island, the girls have a big decision to make. Don't keep us in suspense then. He's still wearing that tiara. <laughs> the Islanders have to do some soul searching. I have fallen for him. At least a little bit. And the evening's games end in tears. Who's betrayed who? The villa's most eligible. The girls must vote for the most eligible boys, but the boys coming last place might lose their place in the villa. Are you ready for the drama mama? Previously on Love Island. We've welcomed you all to the villa's first Mr. Love Island pageant. The boys wowed us with their sexiest outfits. Why is he wearing my lippy? And why does it look better on him? Showed off some questionable hidden talents. Gary's not going to eat that raw onion, is he? And moved us with their beautiful speeches. When I do find that special someone, she'll always have a fresh pastry in her hand and a smile on her face. But in the end, there could only be one winner. The Love Island boy we've decided is the most dateable is Gary. Coming up, the girls face another difficult decision. They know we're going to be judging them again tonight. And this time, it's serious. And the boys face losing their place in the villa. 
I can't believe someone's gonna get dumped over this. Dang, busy day on the island. Yeah, has been busy. We go from chilling, talking about boys, talking about most dateable, to someone getting dumped. The scent of a banana and a mango hits you as soon as you open the door to the dressing room. Why does it always smell like a breakfast buffet? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Why does it always smell like a breakfast buffet fruit salad in here? Priya bounds over to you. Here, babes, try some of this. She holds a brightly colored bottle of body spray. Priya wants to help me get ready for this evening. Sure, why not? Great! She covers your eyes with one hand and sprays all over you with the other. Ma'am, that is entirely too much perfume. It needs to go in the sweet spots. Your wrist, the nape of your neck, between your elbows, and then one, like, big spray and then you walk through it that's how you're supposed to apply perfume ma'am you silly goose a cloud of coconut scented mist fills the room oh boo i don't like coconut like it smells good but i hate coconut bloody hell priya Mm-hmm. see song knows what's what song knows what's what sorry babes but now we're all fabulously tropical tell me that's not the best thing you've ever smelled I don't think that one is really my scent, you know? I prefer something darker and more intense. Cloves, sandalwood, that kind of thing. Babe, I totally got you. It's so important to find the right scent for your personality. What's your thing, princess? Uh, my kind of scent is, I like stuff that smells like candy. Something candy. Try this, it's dragon fruit and gooseberry. She grabs a bottle off the table and squirts a few, squirts a couple of sprays in your direction. Smells like a smoothie Rocco would invent to cover the taste of wheatgrass. Although, to be fair, there's so much perfume and body spray in here, I'm not even sure what I'm smelling anymore. She stay spraying? <laughs> I mean, that's just Priya, full of spray. Not true. Would you guys mind um, toning it down? It's kind of hard to enjoy my coffee when I'm tasting guava and pine forest with every sip. I hope you choke on your coffee, Marisol. You look over at where Marisol's sitting. Her space on the makeup table is filled with empty, with half empty coffee cups. Sorry, hun, but we've got to be our absolute best this evening. After seeing the boys this afternoon, I'm worried they're wearing our styles better than we are. Well, don't say all that. Just because Bobby looked better in that dress than you did does not mean that Bobby looks better in my clothes than I do. It's not my fault I'm the hottest girl here. The whole room has less air in it than perfume. <laughs> Welcome back, Gil, by the way. I hope you have fun doing your activities without me. And that's saying something when me and Princess are around. Um, let's not overstate. They put the effort in, for sure, but they're no match for me. Bobby was like a revelation in my dress. Like a MFing Bath and Body Works. Listen, I, I can't go into Bath and Body Works too often. I had I had an asthma attack in one, one day. Because it was just that bad. <laughs> I could not breathe. And my stepmom loves Bath and Body Works. And I just could not step in there. Because it was like... It was small too. It wasn't like a big Bath and Body Works. It was a small one, so it was more concentrated and I, I couldn't go in there. I gotta say, I'm a little bit jealous of you, princess. Although the way Raheem popped his shirt buttons right off, it was like having my very own superhero. Why are you jealous of me? I'm not dating Bobby. I'm with Rocco. Lottie's with Bobby. How'd you feel about Rocco's performance, princess? How did Rocco do in the contest? He tried his best. They all really went for it, bless them. Do you think Gary's ever gonna take that sash off? I bet he wore it even when he was getting his phone call. He's really proud of himself, and so he should be. I think we all saw a different side to the boys this afternoon. They put on a good show, but they put themselves out there too. I thought what Noah said was so sweet. Noah basically said he would want it to date Hope. 
it kind of made him sexier. Did anyone else think that? Totally. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hope looks around nervously. <laughs> Keep her on edge, guys. Don't let her know peace. Look, but don't touch, ladies. I'm gonna tell him you said you all said that though. I think he was a little bit hurt when he didn't win the sash, but that's even better. Yeah, because I rigged it. I'm not letting him win that sash when Gary's around. Marisol goes to pick up her phone and drops it on the table. Her compact falls onto the floor and powder goes everywhere. And this what and this is what happens when I don't get to finish my coffee. Ma'am, calm down. We'll clean up after. What does the text say? Girls, you have a very important decision to make tonight. The boys are waiting for you at the fire pit. Hashtag dress to impress. Obviously, we've all worked hard at it tonight. Henrik was rocking that lipstick, but I bet he wants to show, off, show us how good he looks without it. They know we're going to be judging them again tonight, and this time, it's serious. I'm so excited. I love it when my guy dresses up for me. Ma'am, he wears the same thing every day. I'm not being outdone by any of them, that's for sure. Ma'am, you're not gonna be. You're not gonna be. She turns back to the, she turns back to the table and starts going through all her makeup. Priya's right, I should make sure I look my best too. I don't want to be outdone by the guys if we have to stand up there and judge them again. You're worried about the wrong thing, sister. Worried about the wrong thing. I feel like they're not going to give me any new dresses. <laughs> okay, so what am I going to wear? I'm going to wear... I'm going to wear this one. That is the one, babes. You want a spritz to go with that? Another one? Another spritz? Priya, please. Thank goodness we're out of that dressing room. If I keep coming home smelling like women's perfume, the missus will think I'm having an affair. Oh, who am I kidding? There's no Mrs. Narrator waiting for me back home. I sleep in a single bed in a shed behind a TV edit studio. That's so sad. <laughs> Justice for the narrator. <laughs> Boys are standing in a line by the fire pit as you arrive. Look at him. He's so cute with his little sash and tiara. You really know how to stand out, princess. Every time I see you in that outfit, I'm always like, wow. Stunned, as you should be. Thanks, Gary. Priya looks at him. For heaven's sake, I knew he'd still be wearing that sash. I did earn this. You think I'm gonna give up being Mr. Love Island before I have to? Mate, the title is yours for now, but I'm coming for it. And I'll wear more lipstick next time if that's what it takes. It wasn't the lipstick, babes. Did you wear that sash when you were on the phone? Obviously. It was a video call too, so my nan got to see me all dressed up. Oh, that's so cute. What did she say? She loved it. She said it made me look really handsome. That's a grandmom for you. Except for my grandma. My grandma's a hater. Whenever I wear something I think's cute, she's like, you can look better. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> thanks. Not that I want to take away from Gary's victory, which we can all agree was truly deserved. But does anyone have any idea why we're here? Apparently, the girls have an important decision to make, and that's why you're all lined up. Don't know exactly what it is yet, though. I think it's a Love Island dance-off. Do you think it could be? I'm so ready. He starts doing the robot. Of course you would, Bobby. Of course you would. I think Princess was teasing you, Bobby. It's obviously about who's the most dateable. Um, I think we know who's most dateable. It's Mr. Love Island, surely. Babe, you're great, but we all watched you eat that raw onion earlier, and if it, that tells us anything, it's that Mr. Love Island and being the most dateable are not exactly the same thing. Oh, it's me. I got a text. Ooh. You grab your phone and begin to read the text out loud. Islanders, tonight the girls will decide which boys are the most and least likely to leave the villa with a girlfriend. Girls, you may discuss your voting as a group, but you will send your answers individually via text. The boys who are voted least likely to leave the villa with a girlfriend will be vulnerable and is at risk of being dumped from the island. What? Are you serious? That makes it official. 
Sounds like one of the boys is getting dumped over this. But after Princess got ditched for another girl? That's only fair. Tell him, Lottie. Tell him what's what. Keep him on their toes. Keep him scared. She looks pointedly at Rocco. We've got to decide which boys are the most likely to leave with a girlfriend. The ones who don't get many votes might be dumped from the island. <laughs> you got your popcorn ready? That is such a cute emo. I'm stealing that. I'm stealing that emo. I don't know how I'm going to steal it, but it's mine now. How do I feel about this? Um, that's why we came here. It sucks, but it's the game. If you're not trying to find love, why even come to Love Island? I can agree with that, at least. <laughs> Go for it? Okay, thanks. <laughs> this is horrible. How are we supposed to decide who stays and who might go home? I want to keep who I fancy and dump the boys who have screwed the girls over. Easy. Babe, that's not how the text- that's not what the text said and you know it. We're not just playing favorites here. Noah steps forward from the boys. And you shouldn't. If some of the boys are going to be in danger, you should do this fairly. We've had our differences, but we're a good group of lads and I don't want to see it come down to who's, the, who's made the most friends. You scan down the line of boys. They look nervous and exposed. Rocco might be at risk. He deserves it. After everything that's happened, it wouldn't be a surprise if he left. I think we need to have a little girl talk. Boys, would you give us a minute? Of course, babe. Noah leaves the boys away onto the lawn. Before we get started, let's remind ourselves what we're doing. We need to decide who, sorry. We need to decide which boys are most likely to leave the villa with a girlfriend. I don't think there's anyone we could say for sure. It's still the first week. Hope arches an eyebrow at Marisol. I know which boy I think is likely to leave with a girlfriend. You and Noah are total couple goals already, to be fair. I'd be so surprised if he doesn't ask you to be his girlfriend while we're here. And guess what? He won't. I'll make sure of it. I'll make sure that you don't get a boyfriend, Hope. It's still the first week? Damn, yeah, it's um day seven, so it's the end of the first week. <laughs> Is Noah likely to leave Love Island with a girlfriend? Everyone can see him and Hope are perfect. He is, but it might not be Hope. I don't think he's as real as it seems. He is, but it might not be Hope. What? It's been seven days, hon. I know you like him so much, but that's not exactly long term, is it? So what are you saying? I'm saying he's still a total catch and he's definitely going to end up with someone. We just don't know who. As long as you think he stays, that's fine by me for now. And if someone else thinks he can turn his and if someone else thinks they can turn his head, well, I'd like to see them try. Girl, you don't know what's going on behind your back when you're not there. Me and Noah will be hooking up in the bathroom. Priya is so gorgeous. She is. I love Priya. And the drama that's gonna start next week. Oh my gosh. Operation Nope. You guys don't even know. I think enough of us don't want to see Hope and Noah split up that we don't need to discuss this anymore. We'll all get to choose whoever we want when it comes to the vote, though. Okay, who's next? I'm coupled up with Gary. We should talk about him. No question for me. He's not my type, personally. But I'm sure he'll find someone in here. You say that? You say that he's not your type? But yeah, why did you couple up with him, though? Why did you couple up with him? Why'd you sell him for me, Priya? Why'd you do that to us? Why'd you do that to our relationship? You're looking respectfully? Good. Keep them eyes respectful for Queen Priya. Will he, though? Priya just said he's not her type. I'm coupled up with him, but you can all see that's not going to work out. She is pretty, but doesn't have the personality that I like. Not like Lottie. <laughs> I can't act. <laughs> Even Lottie. And I don't know what's going on with him and Lottie. What do you mean? There's nothing going on with me and Gary. What do you think there is? She shut that down quickly. Sure, hun. Whatever you say. So that just leaves. They all look at you. Gary, he's the one for me. All the girls gasp. Wow. And you're sure? Babes, do I hear wedding bells? You sure do. 
Lottie rolls her eyes. Come off it, Priya. Yeah, that might be a bit soon. But I could definitely see us getting together. Sounds like Gary is safe to me. Who's next? What about Ibrahim? I definitely think he'll find a girlfriend in here. I don't. You'll be surprised. I'm starting to feel like we might go that way already. Priya thinks she might end up with Ibrahim. You guys would be cute together. I can see you ending up as a couple. I want us to do that pose where he's bench pressing me. Honestly, that's kind of a dream for me too. I think that's kind of cute. <laughs> like, <laughs> having someone like bench press me. That's kind of hot. I bet he's strong enough for it. Don't get me wrong, I really like the guy, but he's such a muscle head some of the time. If your method of flirting is a cheesy line and then showing off your abs, are you really in it for the long haul? Preach, Lottie. Preach. He can solve a Rubik's Cube too, babe. So can my cousin, but he also thinks we live inside the earth and the sky is painted different every morning by magical elves. Huh? What? To be fair, he is nine years old. What do you guys think about Bobby? He's so annoying. You might be the only one who thinks that. <laughs> I am the only one who thinks that. I love the guy to bits, but we've got no chemistry. It's not enough to be a good mate in here, sadly. Which leaves us with Rocco. Can I just say? Hope cuts her off. Maybe we should ask Princess. She's the one who's actually coupled with Rocco. What should I say? Mmm. I don't care what happens with him. You might not be bothered, but some of us are. By some of us, you mean you, which is not some of us. It's just you, babes. Just say you're bothered. She turns to face you. I didn't want to hurt you. And honestly, and I honestly don't think Rocco did either. He's just not very good at dealing with the way things work in here. Ma'am, you maliciously kissed this man in my face. You said, game on. I quote. I quote, like, she's so disrespectful. Bit of an understatement there. Tell her, Lottie. I know I was silly to fall for his sweet talking when he was actually chatting to all the girls, but I have fallen for him, at least a little bit. I've been trying not to let on, partly because I didn't want to hurt you, and partly because I didn't want to get hurt either. I didn't want Rocco to know how much I was starting to like him until I was sure. So now, I'm thinking he might end up with me as his girlfriend. But if you guys don't agree, I might not, e I might not even get the chance to find out. I would, it would really mean a lot to me if you all gave Rocco a chance. It would mean a lot to me too, I could stop stuttering. You take a moment to gather your thoughts, Marisol looks at you expectantly. That was a bit much. He's hardly the love of her life. What should I say? It's up to all of us to decide. Exactly. I guess this is why we're all voting separately. It's been really good to hear what you all think, but I'm glad it's gonna come down to me on my own. So should we go and make our choices then? Um, aren't you forgetting someone? Or two people? Lucas and Henrik. You guys are still back in your new faves? I mean, couldn't they just meet up after all this if they want to chase their feelings? Exactly. Like, ma'am, if you're that serious, leave when he leaves. If that's your man, that's your man, but chase him somewhere else. There's no way Lucas isn't going to be a catch for some girl that comes in here. Like you, you mean? Hope looks away, but you can tell she's blushing. I might have a little crush, but I really like Noah too. If I wasn't with him, things might be different. I know who I got my eye on. What do you think, princess? The new boys. Now, you said you wanted to go after Henrik, right, Song? So I'm gonna say Lucas has to stay. Because if we get more hearts with Lucas, um, you'll, you'll find out. You'll find out next episode. I don't want to spoil anything, but to get Henrik to stay, we have to pick Lucas. Lucas has to stay. Decision made then. Is it? Yeah, not from my perspective. Princess ain't got time for this. You're right. I don't got time for Marisol's BS. I guess if I had to pick one, I'd pick Henrik. Me too, actually. What? Why? I just think he's got the most potential. He's strong, outgoing, and so sweet. 
he'll definitely find someone. Lottie smiles to herself, but says nothing. So I guess that is everyone, then. I've got a pretty good idea who's likely to leave with a girlfriend and who isn't. And I've got a good idea who you're all likely to ignore. Shall we go and do this thing, then? With a heavy heart, yes. I can't believe someone's going to get dumped over this. You all walk off to find a private place to sit. You sit down by yourself and listen to the lapping of water at the pool's edge. All around the villa, you hear the sound of phones beeping. Guess it's time. It's time to vote for the boy you think is most likely to leave the villa with a girlfriend. Please reply with your vote. Most of the girls agree that Noah and Hope were a good couple. I didn't really put La put Laco, put Rocco on top of the list, but I can vote for whoever I want. I'm voting. I'm vo I'm voting. I'm voting for Gary. He'll be so pleased to hear that. You write your answer and hit send. That's the easy part done. It's now time to vote for the boy you think is least likely to leave with a girlfriend. The boys with the most votes will be vulnerable and will be at risk of being dumped from the island. Please reply with your vote. And this is the hard part. All the boys have got something going for them. Who should I choose, Bobby? You hit send again. <laughs> That's done now, at least. Please gather at the fire pit for the results. What's this shocked face? Why are you shocked, Song? The boys line up again in front of you. They look a lot more relaxed. What have you boys been up to? Rahim was telling us all about those comics he's into. It's one of them Johnny Hardman fights Grind Spellman and then Glass Lion Man and Violet Man have to save Quiver Man. Dang, poor Bobby, but yeah, I haven't seen him have chemistry with anyone. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm not a Bobby lover. Like, I love him platonically, but man's is not for me. They're not all called something, man. Quiver man isn't real. Whatever, man. I thought it sounded totally sportswear. Ibrahim chuckles. See, Henrik liked it. Mate, Henrik also thinks orienteering is more fun than football. All the best sports have maps. Are we going to have maps in adventure golf? What on earth are you all talking about? Did they not tell you about adventure golf yet, hon? It's like all the fun of golf and all the excitement of reading maps. I'm going to miss this when we're all not together anymore. I've really enjoyed getting to know you all and your weird jokes. The phone beeps. Oh, it's me. Don't keep us in suspense then. Priya grabs her phone and begins to read. Islanders, the boy who received the most votes and that you think is the most likely to leave the girlfriend, leave the girlfriend, leave the island with a girlfriend is Noah. Hope squeals and runs to Noah. I guess that makes sense, even it wasn't, even if it wasn't what I wanted. You watch Noah pick Hope up and kiss her. That means Noah's safe. More chances for me to crack on. The person he leaves with doesn't have to be Hope. And that's me. She walks back to the girls and begins to read from her phone. The boys who are voted least likely to leave the island with a girlfriend were Rocco, Lucas, and Bobby. You can hear the intake of breath after each name. As soon as Hope's finished, everyone starts talking at once. See, right there, I was supposed to vote for Ibrahim for the story to make sense, but I didn't feel like making the story make sense. You know me, I'm a game changer. I'm shaking it up. OMG. Hope's phone beeps again. Guys, there's more. The three boys who were voted least likely to leave the island with a girlfriend will now face a public vote. The public will vote on the boy they want to have another chance at love. The remaining boys will be dumped from the island. Are you joking? Rocco might be dumped and now we've just gotta wait and find out. Everyone is really shaken. There's so much to deal with. You look at the boys, Noah and Hope are already holding hands. Rocco and Marisol have disappeared. Two boys will be dumped? Dang, yeah, two boys are leaving. We'll find out next episode, which will be, what did I say in my schedule? Did I say Wednesday? I think Wednesday. So we'll play episode, not episode, we'll play day eight on Wednesday.
Come on, lads, it's gonna be fine. The rest of the boys are muttering between themselves. Goodbye, Rocky and Bobby. <laughs> I feel like I only just got to know you lads. It's been an absolute pleasure. Mate, it was an honor to be in the villa with you. And you don't need to talk like that. We don't know you're going yet. I don't love my odds, to be honest. I know how much harder it is coming in later. We've both had to work to make an impression. I am not into Bobby, but I feel bad that he's on the same level as Rocky for this. <laughs> LOL deserves better. Technically, this is supposed to be Ibrahim's spot, but because I didn't feel like voting for Ibrahim, I'm a Bobby hater. I voted for Bobby. Lucas is worried he's going to be dumped. I hope you get to stay. Me too. He takes your hand and looks into your eyes. It's nice to know someone's on my side. I always thought you and I had a bit of a connection. If I do go, I'll be disappointed we didn't get a chance to get to know each other better. Um, guys? Are we not even going to talk about who voted for Bobby to be dumped? I voted Rocco, just so you know. What should I say? I voted for Bobby. Why would you do that? What was the point of discussing it as a group if you were going to do that? I feel like you've betrayed us. Marisol and Rocco have come back to join the group. Marisol's makeup is smudged like she's been crying. Who has betrayed who? I think that's my cue. Lottie fake yawns badly. I'm gonna go to bed. That's probably best. It's been a long day for all of us and we wouldn't want to say anything we might regret. There's a few nods of agreement and everyone starts to head towards the bedroom. As you're walking away, you see Ibrahim out by himself on the lawn. See, this scene doesn't make sense because I didn't vote for Ibrahim. It looks like he's practicing his golf swing with the empty air. It's been a rough night for all of us. Maybe I should go and spend some time with him. I could probably think of a way to cheer him up. Should I spend time with Ibrahim? No! <laughs> I don't care about Ibrahim. I can tell you what happens in that scene, though. So, in that scene, he's like, Oh, I'm so sad that I got voted um, least likely to leave with a girlfriend. Blah, 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 blah. My uncle, he was my coach. He told me, be confident. He was a really rough coach, but I appreciate him being my golf coach. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, so fun. You're really cute. We should kiss. And then he asked to kiss me, and then we may kiss. That That's basically what happens in the scene. So, nothing important. Please don't separate Lucas and, and, and Hedrick. Hedrick? They both silly. Ibrahim, what are you what are we gonna do with you? And more importantly, what do I wake up in tomorrow? Why didn't they cut that why didn't they cut that LOL? Yeah, I mean they should have like changed it. Like I said, this game has like a whole bunch of glitches. I'm gonna wear this. This game has a whole bunch of glitches so there's some scenes that should go with certain characters and they don't and it doesn't make sense and you'll find out later about like the whole thing with gary because if you say something to lottie you'll get hearts and stuff but then later she'll be like you said this when you didn't say that this is fine i'm absolutely exhausted coming up next time rocco and marisol make the most of their time I just figured that if I made my bed, I should probably lie in it. And one of the boys makes his move. I was actually hoping we'd get some time alone together. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful month, a wonderful year, and a wonderful life. I will see you next time. Bye.